Hey guys, Darren here. Today I'm excited to announce that a project that I created was acquired. It's my project called No Code 99, and it was acquired by No Code Devs. And I have the No Code Devs man himself here, Art. Hello. Hey, Darren. What's up? I'm doing great, man. I'm really just excited to be announcing this today and excited to share this tool with your audience and others going forward. Yeah, we're super excited to take over this tool and that's been fun working with you through the acquisition process. I thought in this video, maybe we could look at the tool itself and then we can talk about maybe the story of the acquisition and then also just talk about your plans for the tool going forward. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Let's do it. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the tool here and we can talk through what NoCode99 has become. Awesome. It's nice to see it. Nice to see it from where it was, which was pretty similar to this, to be honest, to on our domain. So yeah, let's just break it down. Yeah. So now this tool is called Trends by No Code Devs. And it is a way for you to look at the traffic or the web traffic trends of different no code tools. So the core piece of this is in the middle, we have the platform leaderboard. And here we can see which no code tools are popular. You can search for a tool like Bubble, click in, and here we can see that Bubble is currently ranking third amongst all the other no-code tools across the platform. We can see the different traffic data points over the last six months. And if you want to check out this tool, you can click here to go and check out that no-code tool. Super cool. Love it. Where I think this is even more interesting is rather than just ranking things, we can see what tools are growing over time. And so here we can see based off a percentage, what tools are growing and how fast they're growing. And so we can see these three platforms right now, based off the data are growing the fastest out of all of the tools. Whereas Bubble and Webflow might be the most popular no-code tools, these tools are on the rise and these are the tools you need to keep your eyes on. And then similarly down at the bottom, we can look at based off web traffic, which platforms are losing users and ones you might not want to invest a ton of time into. Super cool. I love this. Obviously. One of the things that gets me so excited about this product that you built, Darren, is that so many people, that's, it's almost like analysis paralysis, information overload. So there's so many decisions to be made and there's so many emerging tools on the market. It's really hard to know which one to focus on and put your attention into because you don't want to build something on a tool that's possibly declining in users and is on its way out of the market. So I think this just really helps you make those critical decisions when you're deciding which app to choose to build. And plus it validates it with social data. Yeah. And that's exactly one of the reasons why I built this tool to start with. Uh, I've been making no code content on YouTube for many years now. And one of the things I struggled with was there were all these no code tools out there and it's which ones do I need to keep my eyes on? I'm seeing ads here. Is that tool any good? And what I wanted to figure out is like, what are the tools that people are actually using? And so I had this idea of using web traffic data to rank tools against each other. And so this gives me a place to go where I can see, okay, this tool is just a startup. There's not a ton of resources behind it. So I don't, it may not be a tool for me to build this big, robust app on. Yeah. And I love how it's unbiased. It's using website data, website traffic data. And it really just gives you a raw picture of what's happening in the marketplace month to month. Super cool. Yeah. And I think this is going to be great for your audience in the no-code devs community in general, just because everybody is trying to always keep up with the most popular tools. Can you share why you thought this would be a great product to acquire for no-code devs? Yeah. I think it just adds another layer of information to, to our community. So we do have our tool directory, which gives some information and educational content around the tools. But if you're really looking looking for the right tool for your startup, this extra layer of information that the NoCo99 now trends provides to the user really gives you that extra insight that you need to make these critical decisions when you're deciding which app to choose. That's the main reason that, that we're adding this. And of course, we look forward to adding to this trend site at its core. It gives you, a, it gives you very, just like when you built it, when I saw it, I said, wow, this is incredibly valuable for me because I want to pick the tool that was as well backed as it can be, whether that's financially, but also by users. And generally, a lot of users is a good sign of good health. Yeah, that's so true. And I'm curious what you you're, now that you're taking the reins on this project and I'm helping with the transition, but can you give us any insight of things you might want to add or the future of the trends product? 
Yeah. A lot of product you can't see because it's behind the scenes, but I think that on the back end side, automating a little bit more of the way that we get the data will save a lot of the maintenance time. And then we'd of course like to add more tools to the directory. It's, it's got a nice representation of tools now, but as we add additional tools, I think that we want to not only add the tools, but allow users a way to sort by different categories, whether it be like website builders or app builders or automation tools, and just allow people to drill into the data a little bit further and refine their search, if you will. So in the short term, that's what we'd like to do. And then just keep adding resources that are connected to each one of these tools. So probably a lot more than that to come, but in the short term, I think that's what we're going to focus on. Sweet. This was this is a pretty pretty sweet product. How long did it take you to build this once you came up with the idea? Yeah, to be honest, the crux of this product is the data. And that was the hardest thing to come across just because in the marketing world, web traffic data is valuable. So it is expensive. So finding that was the hardest part. And then once I had that, I just basically dumped it on a spreadsheet. And then I used a no-code tool called Glide to build this beautiful app interface that, that you're using. So I'd say finding the data source took some time. But once I had that, whipping this up through a no-code builder could do it in an afternoon. It goes pretty quick. Yeah. And I think that's interesting just for everyone to hear. What is the complete tech stack here that's making this all work? Yeah. So we have a an API that provides web traffic data. I'm fetching that and putting that data into a Google Sheet through Zapier. And then this Glide page is pointed straight to that Google Sheet. And so, yes, yeah, so we have the Glide front end, Google Sheets a database, and then we're using Zapier to fetch data from an API. Yeah, so really two, maybe three tools to make this whole project work. So I think yeah. that's super cool. And I love peeling back the onion of what's behind these no-code tech stacks. So I think that's uh, that's cool to share with everyone. But yeah, thank you for acquiring this. This has been a fun pr- process going through this with you guys. And I am just super excited for the future of this tool. And I really hope that it provides a lot of value for the no-code devs community. Yeah. Like, likewise, thanks for building it. It was awesome to work with you through this process and acquire it on Micro Acquire or Acquire. I'm not sure what they are yet, but I think it's <laughs> Micro Acquire still. But yeah, it was a lot of fun and I look forward to working with you through the transition period and then hopefully beyond on, on some other projects as well. Thank you so much. This was great. Sweet. Thanks, Art.